Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Once again, starting out very cold note this morning, but we do have a warming trend that will begin today and likely carry through the upcoming weekend. So a few changes to the overall weather pattern on the way, which will include, unfortunately, the chance for some strong to severe storms on Friday. I'll touch on all that right now. But just to get you started this morning, again, we do have a few locations north of I-30, out or below freezing, including 30 in Dequeen, 32 in Idabel, the rest of us in the 30s and 40s, safely above freezing. So bundle up this morning. And as we move through the day today, uh, plenty of sunshine early, partly cloudy for the afternoon. And we are looking at afternoon highs topping out mid to upper 60s in most locations today. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Maybe a few locations do top 70 degrees. So we do have some freezing fog up there towards Dequeen, where visibility down to about two miles. So we may have some ice on the windshield this morning. Wind speeds out of the south at about five to 10 miles per hour. And it is going to be kind of a breezy day today as well. We do have a lake wind advisory in effect for much of East Texas, Cato, Bosher, DeSoto parishes in Louisiana, and that will go until 4 p.m. We don't have any rainfall, but that south wind is definitely uh, transporting some higher humidity into the region, I guess you can call it, so that will result in uh, partly cloudy skies this afternoon. Rain will hold off today, but maybe a few showers returning for your Thursdays. We still have that dry air uh, in place across much of Oklahoma and Texas, but again, that is changing with that south wind kicking in, and again, the south wind uh, gusting at times today over 20 miles per hour later this morning through the afternoon. Sustained speeds will be in that 15 to 20 mile per hour range through the middle of the day, but that south wind also helping to warm us up. So a lot of 50s yesterday. See today a lot of uh, 60s for us. 68 Shreveport, 66 in Texarkana. So a comfortable afternoon despite that breeze and uh, partly cloudy skies you see there arriving later in the day. For Thursday, I've included a slight chance for showers and you can see a few of those pop-up showers trying to make their way through. And that may uh, in fact arrive early Thursday and just kind of linger throughout the day. Rainfall accumulations will be very light as we go through the day Thursday and then we'll see that chance of thunderstorms ramp up on Friday especially uh, during the evening hours and possibly into early Saturday morning so you see the storm prediction center at this point has a good chunk of the Arkeltex here and their slight risk for strong to severe storms which means we could see some scattered reports of severe weather hail wind uh, tornadoes pretty much all on the table here but we'll have to uh, dial that in a little bit better still a little uncertainty as far as the overall uh, main threats here and what the timing will be but it looks like a decent window for severe weather late Friday and early Saturday and we'll continue to keep you updated on any changes to that in the upcoming days but uh, warmer 74 tomorrow and Friday ahead of the storms comfortable start to the weekend may have a few lingering showers early Saturday but the overall theme Saturday will be for returning sun highs near 70 degrees and another cold front early next week kind of lowered the rain chances here looks like it mainly will be a dry front but it will drop the temperatures uh, by next Tuesday back with to uh, highs in the 50s.